Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to have a quick look at the new UISP version, version 2.2.12. This version came out around a week ago and it's got a whole host of new features including a redesigned devices page and much more. I've set my Hostify UISP controller to do an update. Uh, you can see I've got a few devices online and offline. I've got a Wave AP from a previous video I've done uh, as well as a UISP switch. Uh, so at the moment my Hostify UISP controller is now updating and I'll come back once that's done. So my UISP application is now updated to version 2.2.12. We're going to have a quick look at the new features now. So the main new feature is the new dashboard. I haven't got many devices connected to this control at the moment, so the stats don't really show you what, what's new, but we'll have a quick look at what is actually new. Um, so we go to the article that Ubiquiti have published. It sort of gives you a little screenshot of what that looks like. So we've got the UISP dashboard. It's got all the little dots to show signal levels and outages and that sort of thing. I will, I will enable my gateway because I've got a USB router plugged in. Uh, it shows you the speed test you can do, the internet provided you've got, as well as the spectrum overview. So we're going to go back to the USB controller now. So this is the new dashboard. The main big change is that you cannot disable the new dashboard or the new devices page. That has been removed. So that feature to downgrade or change the dashboard view, that's that, that's not longer an option. So you have to stick with what Ubiquiti have, have decided. However, the good news is that the devices page is greatly improved. The the two tabs have gone, so there was a tab for wireless devices and wired devices. It's now got each each device in their own little section. Um, so you've got routing, switches, access points. On my other controller I've got some UPS devices. Um, so you can you can go through and filter what devices you want. So you can say group devices. So I've got, um, you could just like the very old versions of UISP. You could just have everything just listed in one big list. But I'm going to have everything grouped. It's make things a bit easier. And you can specify what firmware version and if you want these different stats available in status and things. So a couple of those settings is the new firmware manager section. So in the older versions of Unify, you had this firmware manager section. You can look at your devices and just upload the software and, and that's all you could do. However, you come down to here, it says new firmware management. Uh, we'll enable that. And here what it will do is change that tab to updates. And there's a brand new update section. So you can see you got a nice breakdown of the access points and other devices which have firmware updates needed. So it's told me one of my routers is actually outdated so I can click on that and have a look uh, and it must be this Edge Router X that's offline. There's quite a few nice features for UISP updating schedule. There's also a handful of new features which I can't actually show you because I haven't got the devices that will do it um, but there are new push notifications for the Edge Power and UISP Power devices as well as improved network and wireless configuration for Air Max AC devices and better support for the UISP Wave. This version of UISP is out now, version 2.2.12. If you have a UISP application hosted with Hostify, you can update your UISP application right now. If you go to Settings, then Maintenance, there's a Check Applications button, and it will download the software application automatically. This is different to how Unify is done. Unify, we update them ourselves, but with UISP, you can update the application yourself. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. You can contact the team for any support and queries at support at hostify.com and you can find us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>